focus. The rules are... Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be reviewing some LED panels that I've been sent by the guys at Sandmark. I'll be putting them through their paces down at the old Shell site in Ross Gork. It's an oil storage depot that was built in the early 1970s. The oil tankers used to drop it off at Amlock Port and then it'd be stored there and shipped all over the country. It's mainly abandoned now, most of it's gone. However, there are some really interesting structures still there. I'm going to uplight them and see if I can get some starry night sky shots. I have been sent these lights for free, however, I'm not being paid to make this video so my opinions are all my own. Do stay tuned till the end of the video. I'm currently running my biggest ever competition. There is a prize fund worth £975 so definitely worth checking out. come down to the shell site in uh, Roscoe. Most of the stuff is uh, now gone, however, there's still some really nice industrial things like old machinery and uh, pipe work and really interesting old concrete supports and some old iron works. So I'm going to light them with these LED panels and what I'm going to try and do is see if I can make something uh, beautiful and meaningful. It's kind of a favourite thing of mine to um, take something that's abandoned and no longer loved and make it look absolutely beautiful. So let's see what we can do. Just had a rather exciting experience with the drone. Uh, so unfortunately there's not going to be any drone footage for this video, or very little if I got any. It turns out that having a DJI Mavic Mini, which is a fantastic drone and has much less restrictions, however it really can't fly in very strong wind at all. So um, maybe the wind will drop and maybe I'll get some footage in a bit, but if not that's why there isn't any. So while I'm waiting for it to get completely dark, I've set up a little composition here with some of the iron work. Got my camera set up down here. One of the Sandmark LEDs here. The other one over here. That's the composition. I am so impressed with these lights. They throw out so much light for the size of the things. The batteries last about an hour on full blast. This one that's lighting my face, I've got this on 5% brightness, so it would last for hours at that. They're so convenient and they're just so usable. God, the place has turned up. Mm. Just kidding. One of the effects that these things can do, absolutely amazing. If, if you're into making video, it can do uh, lightning. <laughs> It can do the police, it can simulate the television. I'm truly blown away by what these things can do. Trying a different composition, trying to light this piece of ironwork, this old piece of machinery. It's an old crane, I think, for loading the trains. I'll see what I can get with my camera. Couldn't be more impressed with these uh, lights, though. I've said that too many times. For this next composition, I am going to get these old valve heads. I'm going to use the Sandmark LEDs to light them from either side and then try and get a composition with the stars in the background. So I'm set up for the last composition of the night. Again, I'm using these LEDs and what I'm trying to do this time is uplight the trees. So I've got one LED panel at the base of four trees and I've got the camera looking straight up and hopefully this will make an interesting composition. 
Uh, it's something brand new, I've not tried it before, so um, I guess we'll see how this comes out. So I'm going to set this last light up that I'm using to light myself. Uh, let's see how it comes out, fingers crossed. So as you can probably tell by that video, I was absolutely blown away by these things. Now the reason for that, they come in a nice little carry pouch and that's it. That's including the battery. They take no time at all to charge. They chuck out so much light as you could see in the video. Put them on these little tripods I purchased from Amazon. They cost a few quid each. Just line them up on one of these things. Um, I'll put a link in the description for these two. I found that setup to be absolutely fantastic. And then you've got directional light. Uh, you can color the light with the RGB panel or you can just do warm or white light. I'm looking forward to going and trying them a lot more. I've got a really interesting idea for a shutdown in Better Sequoid. And finally, I'm genuinely excited to announce my biggest ever competition. I'm trying to get to a thousand YouTube subscribers. At certain landmark points, I am going to be doing prize draws. The prize fund is £975. It's going to be drawn at certain points when I get to a certain amount of subscribers. For 100 subscribers, which we're very nearly at already, I'm going to be giving away three individual packs of five greetings cards. These retail at £20 each and you can pick any cards that you like from my website. For 200 subscribers I'm going to be giving away three individual A4 mounted limited edition prints. These retail on the website for £55 each. For 500 subscribers I'm going to be giving away three individual A3 limited edition mounted prints. They retail on the website for £85. For a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be giving away either three individual canvases, A2 or panoramic canvas. You can pick any image you like, or you can choose to do a workshop, either a Zoom workshop or a workshop in person if you can get yourself to Anglesey. They generally retail at £150 for the workshop or £165 for the canvases. If you've got to this point in the video, I genuinely appreciate your attention. Please do subscribe, like the video. It really does help um, with YouTube sharing my video and I hope to see you next time. Ooh. Ooh.